Welcome to Never Not Sailing. I'm Danielle and this is Tyler, or Captain Woodsy. Our sailing journey began from Adelaide with grand dreams to cross the Great Australian Bight and see how far we could get in a year. Turns out the Southern Ocean is a fickle beast and we couldn't achieve what we set out to do. So we're on to plan B, which is to explore West Australia by land before heading to Europe to see what kind of mischief we can manage there. Join us every Sunday as the irony of calling ourselves Never Not Sailing grows, because what happens next, nobody knows. Sleepy bitch. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It is damp. Just the personalities, the weather's fine. <laughs> Too much. I'm never that mean to you. We are in the lagoon beach. There's a lagoon on the other side. Um, Tyler's going to try his hand at spear fishing. Let's see if the spear fishing failures continue. Um, I'm wearing a t-shirt because I do not have a rashi. And I am a pale, <laughs> pale little English Irish girl. Safety first. Snorkeling and safety is sexy. I stopped recording, but I was like, he's probably going to drop that, and then came back and saw that you had. No, I, I did drop it, but I did a practice throw to see if I could just use it as a hand, like throwing spear. Oh. Which I'll give it a go, but. What's going on with that bloody handle thing? It just, like the rubber just snapped on it. As soon as I loaded up, as soon as I didn't fire it, I just loaded it up and just snapped. I have owned that spare rubber for years. We're just not having a good run with all the spear fishing situation. Yeah, the rubbers are not on my head in. But anyway, hopefully we find some lobster instead. Ooh, Is there a cray? Yeah. Shit. What are you gonna do? Do I get it? Yeah. Don't hate yourself. Say she's first. Uh. 
<laughs> okay, so that grunt was me failing to get my first ever cray. But what we did was we took off for a little bit, did some more exploring, and then we came back to have another go at the cray because it had not moved, silly bitch. Now, um, what had happened was the GoPro had been left on accidentally. So a lot of the footage of us actually capturing the cray is a bit like a magician's trick. Uh, the GoPro kind of floated into the right spot at the right time while it was accidentally still running. And uh, the product is what you see next. Two major things have happened today. Um, one, Tyler caught a crayfish with his bare hands, which I missed because a battery went dead, taking uh, footage of him um, attempting to spearfish. And the second one, not as good, we've just lost the drone. It was out over this incredible vista, went snorkeling in there. It's a rock pool when the tides go out. Um, and then we sent it out just on top of the on top of that like little peak there still in sight and then it lost connection To try and find it. We use my phone um, when we connect to the drone and it's like no problem since that story that I told you we lost in Broome because it's near a airport up far out. So he was walking back. I'm gonna not put this camera in his face because he's there he comes. He was up on top of that hill and he was swearing his head off. And these, these lads over here were looking. So I went up and had a chat and apologised. What a kick in the guts. So much. Is that us? There's a drone. Is that us? Is that us? Yeah. Lordy. What the fuck? before you came in a filthy mood. Where have you been? 
in. You little shit. All right, don't slice my head off. What the? What the hell? Oh, fuck knows. But well, we got it back. <laughs> it just started beeping when I was almost all the way back. I literally packed up and like hid the drone stuff because I was like, well, let's just not talk about it until better moods <laughs> can come yeah. around. Um, you ran out of battery and it just did its return home. <gasps> Should have landed it on the car now. I got sand in every joint. That's all right. Now. How's that? How's climbing that mountain and your bare feet? Bare feet. Yeah, my feet are naked. You've got a cut hand from the cray. Yeah. Cut up hands from the crays. Cut ups with feet from drone rescue. Well, that's nifty to know. Crisis averted. Um, that needs charging. That is now a flat battery. But back on. You! Saw a little glimmer of a car down there. Is that the shack over there, do you think? Is it a house or an actual shack? This is the question. People from SA don't believe shacks should be shitholes. <laughs> they should, should be two story mansions overlooking. Do you think that's only an SA top. thing? Um, oh, yeah, like, I don't know, like the concept of a shack wasn't as approachable when I was like going through university and growing up. It, it wasn't something that a lot of people talked about having, but it seems like a lot more people have shacks in SA. It's a lot more talk about everyone's got their own holiday spots, private beaches. Because they inherited yeah. them from their boomer parents. Yes and no. When property costs nothing. Yes and no. you got to remember, I work in the mines, a lot of those like pay for them themselves. Oh yeah. With with a month's paycheck. Cashed up miners. Cashed up miners. We're gonna find a time to tell you a story about Tyler being a cashed up miner and how he's come to have all the toys he's had and sold. Maybe me. We can't talk about me being a cashed up miner. I might say something wrong and I'm mean want my job back one day. <laughs> we'll uh, put something together and we'll see if it uh, hates you favorably. Another time. Today, we're just doing this. Yeah. 
that size bug shit out of us and there's red dirt everywhere I wrote you a song cuz I love you burnt out cars burnt out dreams burnt red dirt not all what seems where are cows they've left in the fields there's our camping shit how does it feel <laughs> I'm gonna stop there good night what are we cooking here Danielle um we gotta cry we gotta cry we gotta cry Turn hey, your hey, hey hey that's better you know what? I'm committing to my torch. Um, we you quarter cray today, and now we're gonna parboil it, and then we're gonna grill it, and then we're gonna put some butter on it, and a little bit of garlic, because I always keep those in our stocks, <laughs> and it's gonna be a delightful time. Oh, Carrie, we kept her alive. I'm calling her her now because we named her Carrie. Um, kept her alive all day, just for this In this moment. little bucket. That we kept in the front seat of the car and protected even though we were four wheel driving and water was sloshing about the place. And has now been dead for one minute and 40 seconds. Yep. Neither of us has ever cooked crayfish before. I've only eaten crayfish once in my life. Um, so it's an exciting time. Because they cost a bloody mint. They cost a bloody fortune. I must sing everything because I'm a comic book character. I mean a cartoon character. Can you imagine if I was a comic book character? What would I be? Mouthy bitch. Problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Problematic girl. Oh, yeah. Success. Parboiled. Mm. Not quite hot enough yet. I need to clean that so then I'm blocking the wind again. I reckon we're on. Craze are served. Oh, get out of here. Look at all that meat. <gasps> Danielle, Kathleen. I've got to look at what's in the thing. I was looking at the food, now I dropped the camera. Pardon? I dropped the camera angle because <laughs> I was looking at the food. Because you were looking at the food. And that's fine. And then we'll get into the guts there later. <laughs> anyway. All right, we're out. That's all me. That's it. We're eating it now. Get it off. And we're out of batteries. Cool. And that's it for Warrera. We head back on the road in the next episode and we find ourselves in Exmouth and doing, you know what, snorkeling. And I get myself some gloves because my fingers were absolutely knackered from that crayfish. So please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you're all about. Uh, it's really important that you do subscribe because that helps with the YouTube algorithms and gets us out there to more folks who want to see our good stuff on Never Not Sailing. So we'll see you next time on Never Not Sailing. Yeah.